Hello and welcome to the latest edition of Golden Score. It's day three of competition here at the Zagreb World Judo Championships for Cadets. We're about to get to see two of the gold medal uh, winners from today. Thea Cowan has got information on them. Who have you got for us first, Thea? Hello, hello. <laughs> first of all, we have the under 73 kilogram gold medalist, uh, Lucio Tavoletta of Italy. Not only has he won the world title today, but he also has the European title this year. So he's been on a roll. Bang, bang. Let's see. Absolutely. Yeah, so let's bring him on in. He's very happy. You can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the smile from yeah. ear to ear. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah, glad that you could join us here on Golden Score. Congratulations, Richard. <laughs> so first of all, I have to ask, how are you feeling about having your second major gold medal this year? I'm very happy because I didn't expect that, uh, but I work hard and this is the result, so I'm very happy. Coming in as the number one seed, is there a lot of pressure with everyone maybe chasing you to try to beat you? Uh, yeah, I have uh, a little bit of pressure, but uh, this day I want to have fun on the, <laughs> on the mat and uh, this happens, so it's the best thing. And I want to talk about your first two contests, because they were very quick. I think totaled less than 45 seconds. We'll take a look up, take a look up <laughs> yes. here. We have some great footage from today. Oh, this is actually from the final, this one. Huge throws. Neil Adams is going to ask you the name of this technique. Oh, he's, not, he's gone. <laughs> he's got it. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Ding, like, that's easy, a tick. Easy. <laughs> Good, right. Yes, but then, of course, your last two contests were very, very difficult, had very hard opponents. Yes. So what was, what was your plan going into these, perhaps? Uh, I want to do calm mm -hmm. this, uh, this contest because in the, uh, the guy in the final I did with, with the, um, the semi-final at the European yeah. Championship. I know that uh, this final uh, will be uh, an hard final because he knew, he knew me and I know him. and. Uh, I have to stay calm and do the thing that I have to know to do and uh, this happened. And no doubt you're going to see it many, many more times in the future as well, so maybe we'll have to have some new plans for that. I, I like the talk uh, from Theo about the future because th these are cadets, juniors next and seniors. When you look in the seniors in this weight category, in 73 kilos, there are quite a few people I I in Italy, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. going to get them out of the way? Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, um, it's, it's difficult to think uh, this thing. Uh, there are many athletes of Italy of higher than me, but uh, I want to do things in quite a way, just trust the process. And uh, who? in this weight category in, in Italy, do you look up to and think, that's a good guy, I, I like this one or that one? In, in my country. My yes, country. yeah, yeah. Manuel Lombardo yeah. Is, the, okay. is the best for And me. have you been on with him and practiced and yeah, done some yeah, training? Many times. What's that like? It's uh, too strong. <laughs> <laughs> it'll come, it'll come, one day. And uh, Basile has gone back to 66, yes. no more 73. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes, yeah. he's a good, uh, good guy. Yeah. Okay, that's one less now. <laughs> <laughs> and what's next for you? Where, where are you going to compete next? Uh, probably I will do some Junior European Cup uh, or Italian Senior Championships. Uh, and uh, these are two, two competitions that I will do. Uh, two big ones, Europeans and now Worlds. Congratulations, really happy for you. Thank you very Congratulations. much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very Appreciate much. It. Right, okay, gold medal winner in the under 73 kilo uh, category. Impressive. Very, and you're right about the 73 kilograms in Italy. Yes, it's that. so yeah. strong. And that's even with Basile going back down. Yes, absolutely. You know, they, they really are, they've got their the sport for choice there. Uh, we're still looking around for our, our uh, young man. I know that they're going to, going to uh, grab him. The Serbs have already started their, their, um, their, their celebrations. Absolutely. Um, but he was not the number one seed this morning. No, he wasn't. But similarly, actually, at the Cadet European Championships, the number one seed was still the same. Grabovac. And yet he, yes, yeah. and yet he ended up with a bronze medal, and of course our gold medal winner took the gold at the Europeans. So he's, he's slowly but surely like catching up with the points and 
did it yeah, again today. Yeah, uh, tough one. And then we had the, the two women's categories today, mm -hmm. the under 57 kilo category, um, where it was Honda who came out on, on top from Japan. And then in the under 63 kilo category, it was Shimitsu. Another Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, another, another Japanese. They, they looked competent. They looked mm -hmm. um, uh, a little bit too strong. And the number one seed in the 63s was the American girl. And yes. we never really got to see the best of her today, no, I, I, I don't, I don't think. think. It was, I wouldn't have said it was her bestie either. Even looking at our previous contests, Today, it just wasn't a deal. Yeah, she, she, uh, she um, got into the bronze medal contest, uh, but lost. Whereas Maria Silveira ah, in the 57s, yeah, she, came she at least came through. <laughs> and we called it a save. Yes, You know, the, the, the day was saved. Right, we do have... Yeah, He's, he spoke English to me earlier on. <laughs> I was going to say, they say, oh, I, don't right, okay. I think they get we've, a bit stage fright, perhaps. Right, okay, they, they get a little bit scary. Right, we've got the gold medal winner from the under 81 kilo category uh, uh, coming up now. I think he wanted to come on for Golden Skull. Yeah. This is why. <laughs> okay, Mr. Rutovic. Yes. Let's see him. Cadet see him European out here. champion and now Cadet World champion. Great, and he'll come out with, with the coach. Absolutely. Right, come and join us then. Make a bit more roomy. Yeah. Congratulations. Hello, thank you. Again. <laughs> Con congratulations. So, Please, what happened between uh, the, the break when we had a, a really good chat and the final? You lost your English. You got a little bit uh, nervous, yeah? I was. I was. <laughs> you know, I'm going to give I you was, such a, such a guy, slap. <laughs> I was the guy who was speaking English. So. Right, right. Um, you were also the guy who was crying at the end of yeah. the semi final. We were absolute I'm, I'm coach, yeah. tears. Yeah. And I thought, They've just, they've just won the semi-final. What's he crying for? Joy, joy, <laughs> joy tears. Joy so tears. much emotion. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Neil Adams and I were talking uh, earlier on. The, the class of the day, the standout fighter for today, real quality today. What a lovely performance. Thank you. Uh, we did uh, best we can. We did uh, good preparation. Uh, the same we did for, for European Championship. We are glad we proved uh, the quality. We are glad we we uh, stand the floor and repeat the same result. So we are very happy and we keep keep on. You uh, agree with coach? <laughs> that is slager. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, no, I want to catch you. <laughs> I know I'm going to catch him. <laughs> so. Uh, you were talking about the European Championships. You'd already you'd already seen him here. Yes, already Repeat. seen. Just as good was he? Just as strong. Just as good. Just as strong. Amazing. I expected nothing else coming into today, and Toughest I was excited. Fight. Hardest fight of today. Let, let's see what, what you think. What was the hardest fight of the day? Semi final. Semi final. Semi final with the Kazakhstan. Yeah. Why was it so mm -hmm. difficult for you? Mm. Uh, he, he, he has a very good uh, grip fight, he's very strong, good in uh, Nevaza, good in Tachewaza, good in uh, close combat, mm. good, good in every single... H had they fought before? Yes. Uh, where was that? It, uh, the first they met was at uh, the final in the Bielsko Biala, B European Bielsko Cup. Bielsko yes. yeah. 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 It was the sixth, sixth match for him. Uh, Balgabai also started with Vazari in Nevaza. And Boris escaped in 19th second. Whoa. And when he, <laughs> Close when, call he then. <laughs> when he stood up, he was very angry because he's very angry when he starts to lose. Yeah. So then he, you piss him off and he starts to be... That was the motivation. <laughs> we cut that one. <laughs> <laughs> he starts to be very, very angry and <laughs> <laughs> strong. Right. Here we go. We can have a look at it. Yeah. Uh, for a moment... This, this is the second one, isn't it? Yeah. For yeah, a moment, I... I was scared because he had he had the, the two shidos. The two shidos, yeah. So maybe not so clear shidos, but two shidos. For yeah, sure. the, the the one the, the one the for one grip, hair. yes. Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, we we call that an unforced error. Yeah. You like to watch, yeah. watch tennis, you know, and when they yeah. hit the ball backward, forward, yeah. backward, and forward, you yeah. you just try that little bit too hard and you push it a little bit. Boris, you don't need to do that. Boris so got you cut used, that one out. <laughs> he got used to to get two penalties for each fight in yeah, previous, that was the motivation. In previous course, tournament, and then he started to really fight. Yeah. It's like back on the ropes. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, your teammate didn't. 
didn't quite make it. Yeah, number, he was a number one seed today. Pita za za publiku što su došli i i bio si prvi kao bili su najbolji kao danas. Šta je što ima da kažeš da? Hvala im. He wants to thank he wants to say thank you for for support. A lot of people come here yeah. to to support him, so we are very happy for that and we we are happy we didn't disappoint them. There was a very successful a uh, German fighter at under 81 uh, kilos. He's still. Uh, uh, Ole Bischoff. Ah, and, oh, and oh. he told he told me once, it's not who was number one in the morning. Mm -hmm. It's number one at the end of the day. So your your Here's teammate the... was number one in the beginning, yeah. but you're number one. At the, at the end of the, the at the end of the day. Congratulations. Really happy for you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you again. Love watching you. Absolutely love <laughs> Thank watching you. you. Thank, Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thanks for the translation. Yes. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Boris, <laughs> <time>. Boris <laughs> didn't need it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Okay. Let's um let's get Neil Adams in here then. It's funny he had a similar um, situation at the cadets. He said he could uh, at European sorry, he said he could speak he, English he under, he understood everything. He, he, he just gets a little bit nervous. He's well, camera he's, he's he camera camera shy. No, no, no. Oh, I thought you meant me. Boris Rutovic. I'm a little yeah. bit camera shy. He's good. He's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm a little bit camera shy, as you know. <laughs> right, oh. Neil, take it away. What have you well, got brilliant. for us? I do, you know what? You know how I love technique. <laughs> I do, yeah. I'm having well, deja vu. Mm, mm. <laughs> Ruth, Ruth deja had a few. A few I'm telling you, we've seen some great judo today. And you were asking me, you said, why have we seen, uh, uh, why is it a little bit different? A yeah. little bit different, a little bit stronger, mm -hmm. physically, uh, um, and uh, more transition and the transition is what I picked up on uh, today because we saw so many different transitions mm -hmm. didn't we as well mm -hmm. I mean yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah so uh, uh, as it's happening stuff. here and this was a fantastic uh, one here by the Japanese fighter in the earlier rounds and um, uh, he just he went from one to another and uh, ended up uh, with a shimmy waza um, so he had about three or four different uh, attacks there and then in the end climbs up, uh, right the way over the top there in order to finish it off I mean it was absolutely brilliant transition. He never let it go. Yeah. And he did it a couple of times. We're going to see it again here in slow motion. All right. So the Ashiwaza starts it off. And then he comes round uh, to try uh, for the double lapel, uh, which we see them doing so often, don't we? Uh, so he has a little go at the double lapel. Then he realizes, right, that uh, when he gets over into this position, he does a whole somersault over. And then he goes into the shimiwaza catches the shimiwaza underneath the neck, and uh, it was all part of one movement. I thought that that was one of the best um, there was yeah. a bit. I mean, for him it was all one movement, but his opponent must have been thinking, where is he going? Where is he going to come from I next? had no idea. No? And, and also, of course, he had no chance of getting up. Got a um, second one here. Yeah, okay. So second one, uh, it was all about just following it down yeah. onto the arm there and he wasn't going to let the arm go either readjustment of balance which was really important and uh, he just never let it go uh, the readjustment of balance meant that he had to sit up in the end in order to finish it up uh, in uh, just a hold down all right but look at him though he keeps hold of the arm uh, he stays with the arm he doesn't quite have it into the crook of the arm all right so he's readjusting readjusting all the time a little little bit like in Tachiwaza where they're readjusting all the time uh, in order to make the technique work. In the end, he made it work. Relentless. Relentless. Yeah. I mean, it is relentless and you've got to just stay on it all the time, uh, haven't you? I mean, you've got to stay on it all the time and you've just got to keep on thinking, well, what do I want? And good Niwaza people know exactly what they want. When they go down there, they are relentless. They become hunters yeah. and hunters is the key word. Not sure if we've got another one. We've got Here's a third one. Yeah. So watch this one. So uh, as always, uh, from front position here um, possibility uh, with the with the Sangaku and uh, so uh, we watch him just break away here and then uh, start with the Sangaku but he just flicks it over right so once he's actually uh, triangled the legs he uh, flicks it over, does, Roll, a, uh, yeah. does a somersault into the position. And then once he's actually, uh, rather than trying to take the head forward, he just applies the uh, shimiwaza 
and then turns it into the hold down. Uh, so we, we, I don't think we're going to see the whole of the hold down. He actually holds him for the full 20 seconds in the end. But this is the um, catch and uh, the rollover there that he does uh, all the way into the uh, Sangaku turn. So now he has to click off on, onto the uh, arm. He clicks onto the arm there, fantastic stuff. And then he pulls the hold down on. We're going to get one more chance to see it. But uh, the catch was fantastic. Oh, we got another. One more, and I think this is the last one here. And uh, the Tomonagi here, this is a great example of how Tomonagi can't lead directly into the uh, Konsetsu, into the arm lock, all right? And she does the Tomonagi, and there's a small separation. There's the Tomonagi, little bit, a tiny bit of break there, and we know somebody else who does this, don't we, at 52 kilos, all right? And then directly onto the arm there, and they've got to submit. You're right. That, that's a genuine effort to, to throw that yeah. fails, from which he then moves into yes. the... Yes, it's, it's not it? all yeah. part of one movement. And then this one here, which is just directly into uh, Osei Kamiwaza, and uh, it just is arms underneath there, changes direction, gets the pickup. We've seen a lot of sumageishis, haven't we? Uh, a lot of movements into uh, Newaza, different uh, situations in Newaza. This was uh, fairly straightforward. Kuzure Kesekatami. Uh, and, uh, you know, it was absolutely brilliant. I thought that the transition today absolutely made the day for me. Wasn't that last one Rutovitz? Yes. Early, early on. <laughs> I was going to say that was you the semi-final. Can't, can't give a good man down, can you? Can't give a good man down. No, you can't. Fantastic. Right. We're going to be back with more action tomorrow, day four of uh, competition at the Cadet World Championships. It's the fourth and final day of individual competition. Of course, we got the team event on Sunday. We look mm -hmm. forward to your company then, but from Thea Cowan, Neil Adams, all the broadcast team and myself, it's bye-bye for now. Bye for now. Bye.